All right, we want to go to CTV's Stephen Keyes. He's in Cape Town, South Africa, and he has tested positive for COVID-19 and is stuck there basically now. Stephen, how are you feeling, first of all? Um, not too, too bad. I've been fine this entire trip up until today when I was going to try and make it back. I woke up with some feeling a little off. Uh, I developed maybe a low-grade fever in the morning, and then that went away. And then I noticed that I was getting this persistent coughing fit that would come and go. It's not very consistent, but it's happened a few times now. When it does get going, it's hard to stop. Um, itchy throat is one of the symptoms for the Omicron virus, uh, and I'm definitely feeling that as well. But for the most part, really good. I haven't been down for the count with fatigue or anything like that. When had you been scheduled to come back? I was scheduled to come back essentially tonight. So we are seven hours ahead here. So it's after 1 a.m. My flight would have left an hour ago. I was notified at 11 p.m. our time that it was canceled, but I had already had my PCR test results letting me know that I was positive and would need to self-isolate. So I'm here for at least another 10 days. We'll see if I can get out after that, because as you know, the longer we stay, sometimes it's the harder it is to get out and leave the country. And then I will be self-isolating upon return. Where are you supposed to travel through? I know a lot of the flights stop off in Europe. That's right. I was supposed to travel through Amsterdam. And I was hopeful this morning, and it's been developing very quickly, as you know, Morella. I was hopeful this morning that foreign nationals would still be able to transit um, in previous waves or occurrences. They've allowed that as long as you're not leaving the airport. So Amsterdam was not my final destination. So I was hoping to be able to continue on to Toronto. That's no longer the case. They don't want foreign nationals on that flight, but that flight has been canceled altogether. Wow. So, in fact, not only are you quarantined for 10 days, but then you have to figure out a way to get home. Are you prepared to stay longer if that has to happen? I mean, I don't really have a choice. Uh, even I was concerned today because everyone was, well, I was supposed to leave to come back to Canada. Some of the other people who are here were supposed to move on to Johannesburg. It means that my accommodations I was supposed to check out of in the morning. And I definitely didn't want to be homeless in Cape Town, but I spoke to the Airbnb host and it appears that I'll be able to stay here. Uh, and so I'm hopeful for that. It is getting expensive. It's not even an inconvenience thing, but it is very expensive. As you know, PCR tests are running close to $200. Um, the accommodations are cheap here. Food is, though, when you do the uh, exchange rate, so I'm not too worried on that side. But are but you able also, to order your food in, Stefan? I mean, do you have someone who can help you? Yeah, so there are quite a few people belong. I was here for a wedding. I should make that clear. Um, there are quite a few people who live and reside here that can drop things off if I need to. But Uber Eats has been very efficient in operating, so they come, they leave food at the door. I wait until they're gone and I've been collecting it. So I've been, you know, ordering my Uber Eats and getting fed that way. So are there others you are connected to that have also tested positive and are stranded in the same way? I'm not sure. Because they were not flying internationally right away, I was rushing back to get back to work and I teach at the university once a week. I was supposed to have my last class in person with my students at Carleton University. Clearly that's not going to happen. So some of them will be testing now. We're waiting to see how many people in the group are, uh, have been hit with this. Wow. Stefan, good luck. Keep us informed. Let us know how it's going.